everyone, it's Cindy and welcome to my channel or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. Do consider subscribing to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Today's video is a replay of a live training I did over on my Facebook page. Every single Friday is Feel Good Friday over on my Facebook page and at 9.30am I will be coming on live and giving a new training every single week. This video is all about self-sabotage. So if you want to know how you are sabotaging yourself, holding yourself back and stopping yourself from having everything you want and how that's impacting on your feel-good mission, then just keep watching. Uh, P.S. I have edited it a bit because there were dodgy bits where the connection went. Okay, good. Watch now. Hi guys, welcome to Feel Good Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that your week has gone brilliantly. Um, today we're talking about are your thinking hab habits, I'll say that again, are your thinking habits sabotaging your success? So we're going to be getting into all of that in just a second. Before we go into that, if you haven't seen me before, if you've never heard of me before, my name is Cindy Davis and I am the Feel Good Coach. I help my clients to find out how they're stopping themselves in their business and to become fully aligned with where they want to go so that everything works really, really seamlessly and they can move forward really easily. And hopefully a couple of my clients will be on here today live, which will be brilliant. Um, so today we're going to get straight into the content. I want to give you as much value as I can. And this is what I'm going to be doing every week with a different topic that's related to feeling good. And the reason this, this topic is related to feeling good is that when you're actions and your goals and your beliefs are all aligned then you're going to feel good you're going to feel good in your business and you'll be able to move forward and also all of that comes from feeling good so there's a great big cycle so let's get into it i do have some notes because i can talk for years and years on this stuff so um that's just to keep me on track and also i'm going to set my um stopwatch going so i don't go on for too long brilliant so let's talk about sabotage and how our thinking habits are doing that so for me and for my clients you know there's always stuff that we know we should be doing in our business we should be getting out there and networking we should be creating new services and products we should be making videos going live on facebook um, putting ads out there's all these things we should be doing um maybe calling people on the phone or just emailing that person that you know might be interested in your service so there's all these things we know we should be doing and sometimes we just don't do them and the reason we don't do them is because we've got um, beliefs that are holding us back. That's what it is. So can you relate to that? Have you got things that you know you should be doing and, and you're just not doing in your business? Because let me tell you, if you're not exactly where you want to be in your business, there's going to be something going on under the surface that's holding you back. So um, if you're watching on the replay, do go ahead and comment. Let me know what, what it is that you think is holding you back. What are those sabotage things you do? Can you relate to mine? Um, have you got some of those things going on? Because I will be um, coming back and looking at the comments and interacting with you guys. So don't worry if you're watching on replay. So why do we do it? Well, nine times out of 10, it's fear. This sabotage is because of fear. And it's loads of, there's lots of different fears. That they, and they come from um, experiences that we had in, previously in our lives. So it's usually when we're children, um, something can happen that can make us make a decision. So that decision then is um, reinforced because uh, the way our mind works is that we need to prove ourselves right and um, find evidence for the beliefs and decisions that we've made. Um, and, and so we get more and more evidence and it becomes a really strongly held core belief. And then completely unconsciously, without our conscious knowledge, we end up acting from that belief. So it's a bit like letting your, your five-year-old self run your life and your business. And like, who would do that? In reality, we wouldn't let our five-year-olds run our business. Maybe we should, but um, that's a whole other thing. So, um, so these fears um, are quite often held in our, in our gut. So we've got, um, uh, three intelligences in our body, three that we can count at the moment. So instead of thinking that we've just got this head brain, this gray squishy stuff up here, start thinking about the fact that we've got this heart and gut brain going on as well. Um, and this is from a, um, a coaching model I use uh, amongst many other things, which is called embraining, and it's based on the latest neuroscience. If I haven't spoken to you about that in person, it's the first time you're hearing about it, 
I'm sure you're feeling that it's kind of intuitively, <clears throat> it's right. We know this, we know that we have a heart, a head, heart and a gut. It's in our language and we talk about it all the time. We say, I can't get my head around it. My heart's not in it. Oh, um, um, I had a gut's full, a gut's full. So, so we've got all this language there and we know that that's, you know, it's just part of, of life. And, um, but science, neuroscience, neuroscientists are able to prove now that that is actually true, that we've got these three intelligences. So what that means is that when we made these decisions when we were very small children about what's safe and what's not, that was our gut. Because our gut's about self-preservation, keeping us safe, but the gut's also about movement and action. And if you think about the word movement and gut, you know, you can see there's a very literal sort of translation there between um, how our gut um, operates and, um, and what it means in our actual physical lives. So when we've got these decisions that we made, these fears that are held deep in our gut, that, that can really, really stop us. And it will make us think all sorts of things that aren't true. So we'll have all these thinking habits going on that we're not even aware of. Did you know we have about 70,000 or more, maybe 80, 90,000 thoughts every single day? Um, and we're only aware of about, of about 10,000 a day, maybe. So, you know, I mean, I haven't counted them, <laughs> but that's, that's what I've read. So, you know, all of the other stuff that, you know, 60, 70, 80,000 unconscious, subconscious thoughts, that's all happening without your knowledge. It's all just going on under the surface. So that means it's just kind of running amok and um, when it's not supportive thoughts and it's going to be um, holding you back and keeping you from the success you want in your business or your career, but also keeping you from, you know, the money you, you want to earn and the lifestyle you want to live and the people you want to help and all of that stuff. So it's really important to look at what are the fears that are going on that are causing you to have thinking habits that are then causing you to self-sabotage. So I want to get you thinking, I want you to um, just have a second, just take some time and think, what is the thing that is holding me back in my business? What is the thing I know I should do? What's the one thing that I know if I did it, it would really help my business or my career to move forward in the way I want it to do? Just take a second, and if you're really brave, write it in the comments. Like I said, if you're watching on the replay, I will come back and interact with you guys, and um, and uh, and you know, talk to you and all that sort of stuff. So don't worry if you're on the replay. So what's that one thing that you know you should be doing that's really going to move you forward? And write it in the comments. So mine was video. That's that was mine a couple of years ago when I learned about embraining and uh, when I was on the training, I was luckily the the guinea pig that the training used to be Reb. Uh, hopefully Reb will see this video, and um, I sat up in the magic chair and did embraining with me about my um, how I was feeling about making videos. And um, it turned out my gut had all this fear about people are going to judge me, they're going to think I'm stupid. I'll say something wrong and I'll get in trouble. Um, there might be troll and that'll be horrible. Um, I'll make a mistake. You know, all that kind of stuff, all that fear in my gut. The reality is if I make a mistake, so what? It <laughs> doesn't matter. We're doing this live, you know, anything can happen. So it really doesn't matter. But I just couldn't convince myself of that because I had this deeply held belief that I'd made, that I'd created from those decisions I made when I was a child. And I don't know what those um, circumstances were that caused me to make those decisions. And it's not important what those things were, because that's not about not what we're about. It's not about analysing everything that ever happened. It's about actually what's going on under the surface. Let's get that cleared and start moving forward so that everything can happen really easily. So now that you've identified that one thing that you really, really need to be doing in your business that you should be doing, by the way, should is not a great word, but I'm using it on purpose. Um, it's, it's time to look at what's the fear underneath it. So, so with mine, um, one of the, one of the um, sabotages that I run and I'm very aware of is that um, I don't do uh, a lot of planning and um, if my lovely business coach Harry is watching this I'm so sorry you know this about me I try it's not my favorite thing and I find it really hard 
um, and admin. Um, and that, of course, I can get someone else to do. But the plan aside, you know, I need to do that stuff. And um, I find that hard. And I think the decision I made um, when I was a child is possibly that, you know, it's boring to be planning. Um, and also, if I make a plan and I don't achieve it, then I'm going to feel crap because I haven't achieved it. So if I don't make a plan, then that means I can't not achieve it and that means I can't feel bad about it. So, you know, that that can be some of the stuff that's going under the surface. But that's my stuff. Anyone got that one going on? Anyone late? Um, pop it in the comments. Hi Libby, nice to see you. So pop it in the comments and um, if that's something you can relate to, that fear of, you know, the, the sabotage of not doing planning because then I don't have to fail. So uh, let me know if you're getting that one. So, I want you to just, again, take a second and think about what's the fear that's holding you back? What's the fear that's stopping you from doing that one thing that you need to do? And you'll know what it is. And again, if you're feeling really, really brave, you can pop it in the comments. It's up to you. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But if you feel like doing it, then do. Pop it in the comments. What is the fear that's holding you back? And there's probably more than one, of course there's more than one, but what's the main one that pops up in your mind? Because what's happening with that fear is it's causing you to think all kinds of things to stop you from doing that, taking that action. And it's, and it's coming from your gut. You know, the gut is the one that's get, getting you to not take that action, not move forward out of fear. And nine times out of ten, the fear that we have is kind of irrational. Our head brain will kick in and go, well, that's not really going to happen. And even if, you know, so taking my videos as an example, it, it, you know, I might make a mistake, that's okay. Rationally, I know that's okay. Um, if there's a troll, it doesn't matter, they can't hurt me. It's just online, there's probably some 12-year-old kid who's got nothing better to do. You know, th there's lots of rational reasons why that fear shouldn't have stopped me and I knew I knew in my heart that I really wanted to do it I knew that um, putting that um, putting out videos would really help people and so I knew in my heart that I really wanted to do it connect with all these people and I really wanted to do that but my gut wasn't on board wasn't having any of it and would make me think all these thoughts that would stop me from taking action so we are going to get into something that you can do to get you moving forward. Um, obviously, I can't do a full m session with you on a Facebook Live. That would not work. So the fears and those thoughts, they cause us to procrastinate and avoid doing things that, and, and not even know that we're doing it half the time. But over a while, we start to see a pattern, don't we? Um, and we realise that there's, there's a, a thing we do to stop ourselves all the time. And we've all got our thing. So this is all just to get you thinking, get you to um, just start to be a bit more conscious. It's bringing it up to your conscious awareness that this is all going on under the surface. All this thinking, all these fears. When you self-sabotage by procrastinating or um, losing things, that's another great way of self-sabotage, being really messy, which if you've seen my video on YouTube about my dirty little secret, you know, being really messy was one of the ways I was sabotaging myself recently because it was stopping me from being able to create the way I know I can and to be able to work properly. So now I've got a lovely clear space, I can think clearly and all of that stuff. So there's so many ways that fears can and our gut can um, stop us from moving forward it's very very creative in the ways that it'll stop us but you know i know that you know the thing that you do um that stops you from being as successful as you want to be from earning the money that you want to earn from having the relationships you want to have from having the lifestyle you want i know you know that thing that you do and so this is the stuff that's going to help you get past that and that's you know that's what this session is going to be all about because when you can clear the, the fears or confront the fears or or um, get rid of the fears or rationalize the fears whatever you need to do to convince your gut that actually it's going to be okay and reassure your gut that it's going to be okay when you can do that everything else falls into place then you feel good you feel good because you're aligned with or the goals that you want to achieve 
your beliefs are in line with it so you're not holding yourself back and you can take actions that feel good too. So that's why it's related to feeling good. When we feel good, we're aligned. So that's what we're aiming for. So let's quit self-sabotage. Let's find those things that we're doing and let's start um, shifting them. So um, like I said, I'm sticking to my notes because otherwise we will go massively over time and who's got time to be here all morning. Only you, only you can change this. So you're the one who knows that this is going on. You're the one who knows what it is you do. When you bring this up to your conscious awareness, you're gonna know, you're gonna know that there's that thing that you keep doing and only you can change this. And we all need help, we all need support, we all need advice. So um, what I'm aiming for with the comments section here, is, guys, help each other out. So if you um, see someone in the comments has got um, a self-sabotage um, pattern that you got to, let them know that you know they're not alone, that you've got too. So I've said already, you know, mine, one of mine is planning um, and admin and and my fear is that I'm going to be bored and that if I plan, I might fail and um, and then I'm going to feel bad. Uh, so that's mine. If you feel like it, do do share in the comments and help each other out because this is this is where we support each other. So the easiest way to get moving that we can do in this space that we've got here today is to break down the thing that you need to do into a really small actions because that helps to alleviate fear. So you might have heard this concept before, but when you hear it again and again and again, one time is going to be the time when you take it in. So I want you to set aside any, oh, I already know that stuff because we all do that when we start to learn and learn about something or we hear something heard before. Set aside all of that stuff and just take that on board. Break it down into really small actions. So that one thing you need to do in your business, now you know what it is. What's a, what's a tiny first step you can take to get you moving? What's a tiny first step that can override all of that thinking that goes on, all of those thoughts that make you not do it oh, and I want you to just write that down if you've got a notebook there if you haven't got a notebook you know if you've got a device there that you can input it on then do that make a mental note what is one tiny action that you can take that's going to move you forward so bringing it back to what the title is are your thinking habits causing you to sabotage your own success and the answer is probably if you're not exactly where you want to be in your business, your life, your career, relationships, your family and lifestyle and all of that stuff, not exactly where you want to be, you're not completely happy with how things are, then the answer is probably yes. Probably yes. So, the thinking habits, let's recap. The thinking habits, they come from the fear. The fear causing us to think all those thoughts that, you know, rationally, if you can take a step back, they're just not, they're just not true, they're not real. But remember, it's all coming from the gut and it's trying its best to stop us because it wants to keep us safe from that fear. So my one thing is about planning. And I know from my lovely business coach, Carrie, that I need to do my planning. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstigate my weekly review on a Friday afternoon, which has fallen by the wayside very sadly so that's my action I'm going to reinstigate that I have a process ready for that so I'm going to put it in my diary and I'm going to sit down starting today this afternoon and I'm going to just work my way through the checklist and do that do that weekly review which also involves a bit of planning for the next week so I'm not going to set myself a massive action which is to to do a 90 day plan and do all of this stuff because that would be overwhelming I'm setting myself one tiny action that is going to move me forward and get me closer to doing planning that I need to be doing. And once I've got that, I can feel good about that and I can come up with another action. So it's great to see Carol there being, being very brave. Thanks, Carol. You've put that you're going to do some follow up course, picking up the phone and catching up with past customers. That's brilliant. And um, that's two actions, remember. So make sure that you um, keep those. Um, just do one at a time, don't mind do everything at once because that's what we do. We say, oh, I'm going to do write an action and then we'll just write a whole list of stuff and call it one action. So the key is to break it into one tiny thing, which might just be 
find my list of people that I need to follow up with could be first action because this is how we're going to get ourselves moving. So um, thank you so much for um, taking part in that. Um, like I said, I want this comment section to be accountability for you. So if you are watching on the replay, still carry on and do the commenting. I'll be here checking in and help you stay on track and let's get something moving before the next session next Friday because only you can change this. You're the one with all the power here. No one's stopping you from doing this. Um, oh, Tina, what are you saying? I plan to do loads of stuff in a week and then don't do a lot of it, especially getting flyers out. So this week I'll plan and do it. Fantastic. So Tina, break that down into what's the first action. So just write down for me what the first action is, because that'll really help keep you focused. The first action might be, um, I plan to do it. So getting flyers out, that could be your first action, but the break it down even smaller find flyers might be first action um, or decide where you're going to go or put in your diary what time you're going and um, one tiny action it's so easy to create these big actions that are just too overwhelming and we can't even get started so um, if you see someone like I said earlier if you see someone in the comments who's got a, a, an issue that's similar to yours that, um, has an action similar to yours or you want to support them in getting our action done let's help each other out come on guys we all need help so I'm going to be here in the comments uh, keeping track and helping you all stay uh, moving forward um, you're not alone that's you know that's the takeaway message here we all we all satire ourselves everyone does and there's nobody in the world who has not got stuff that they need to do that they're not doing like there's always something so you're not alone but the key is to find one thing and really focus on that one thing and just we'll hold you accountable and you get it done and you come back here let us know in the comments when you've done it and you know you're going to get really congratulated and um and are in advance well done for taking that action so i hope you've really um got some value from this session um i've gone a little bit long i knew i would i just can't stop talking i do apologize <laughs> if you find it valuable do please let me know hit the the little heart button or the wow button just so that we know that you you've um that, so that we who's we the queen i don't know <laughs> just so that i know that you have got some value from this today and do join me next week uh for field friday let me know if there's a topic you want me to cover uh thanks guys for all the hearts and i will speak to you next friday or if you're on the replay um do like my page uh, to make sure that you don't miss it next time so thanks for watching have a fabulous day and go do that one thing let me know how you get on i'll speak to you next week have a fun day bye